welcome back to Tight Lining Maryland. I'm out on a stream and I'm chasing big brown trout. Uh, we're gonna do that again with streamers. I had some really good success over the last couple trips fishing a bead of water here. Um, today we might switch colors a little bit more than what we've done on other trips. It really just depends upon how they react to it. I've really had a lot of movement and success on this green, uh, you know, articulated streamer. So you don't, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So with that said, um, I want to fish some new sections. That way I'm getting to new fish because over the course of the last week, which is really uncharacteristic for me, I've been able to fish three times. So feeling pretty blessed there. Um, today's trip, we'll fish some of that same water, but we'll also work a little bit lower and higher than what we usually do. So we should encounter some fish that haven't seen this. Um, so with that said, we're just excited to get here. Let me show you the setup. So the setup that works for me is produced by Syndicate. It's an Aqua seven weight. And with that said, I pair it with a behemoth reel that's made by Reddington. And then it's got sink tip line on there. I believe this sink tip line is somewhere around 250 grain. Uh, don't quote me on that because I actually bought this uh, used off of somebody else. But nevertheless, uh, it has really, really been successful. Of even taking the fly that you saw there to begin and driving it down deep it is an unweighted fly in terms of like it doesn't have a cone head it doesn't have a helmet um, but yet this sink tip line is going to take it down and let me bounce it off the bottom and near the rocks and boulders that i'm trying to really get uh you know through in the water column so let's get started and hopefully we put at least one fish on the board uh streamer fishing can be tough so one chase one fish whatever it turns out to be that's going to make our day so let's get after it all right i want to work my way up you know, to this bridge. But quite frankly, I think this area up towards the bridge is where a bigger fish might lie. But again, we moved we moved some nice fish in here the other day and uh, we're kind of we're kind of hunting them again, hoping to recreate a great, uh, great scene from the other day. So we're going to try to fish in front of a lot of this structure and see if we can't pull something out. Water's just clear enough where I can kind of see my bait. So that's kind of nice. There he is. Didn't get a good hook set on him, but that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Got a feeling we'll lose him though. So that would suck. There he is. He was tight up against that tree too. Stay down, bud. That's a nice fish. Ah, you don't want to see that. Come on. Not what you want, no rolls. There we go. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. All right. There we go. All right, so this guy probably comes in, I want to say at about 15 inches. Looks about right. But, you know, the thing about him is just the gorgeous gorgeous underbelly look at that he is just a stick of butter all right one last quick look damn missed him twice Decent little brown, probably 11, 12 inches. Ah, that time we got him. Came back for it a third time. Damn, these fish just dig. Dig, dig, dig. There we go. Say, they don't, they aren't stupid, that's for sure. Popped right out. Let's take off our glove real quick, keep him in the water. Like I said, probably 11, 12 inches, nothing special, but I can't believe he hit three times. That's uh, not common. Maybe once, 
sometimes twice, but three, that's super rare. So here he is. Like I said, yeah, probably right around that 10, 11, maybe 12 inch mark. So here he goes. See you, buddy. All right, so. That was a big fish. Big ball of butter. Can we strike gold twice? I don't think we can. Oh, that was a nice fish. That fish was probably 16 inches. There we go. Ah, had another small one. So one thing about the up or excuse me the downstream approach is that the hook sets are just not always clean and you kind of quite frankly you got to get a little bit lucky uh, you can strip set it but sometimes they just have the advantage off of your initial pull because you're pulling it away from them um, and uh, you just you tend to lose some fish but it's effective to get them to take that's for sure it's just the hook set There we go. I don't know how big it is, but it doesn't feel huge, but I can't tell. But we're definitely getting some head shakes. I mean, it's not a bad fish. Probably 14, 15 inches. Take one quick look at this guy and put him back in. Just uh, a really nice solid brown trout coming in again at about 13, 14 inches. So let's get him going. There we go, got another one. This one feels a little better. Yep, he's a little better. Definitely a little prettier, that's for sure. Eh, maybe not a little better, but right about where we want him to be. <sighs> Swing him right into that net. Gorgeous fish. They might be the best one of the day. It's close. They're all getting that trailer hook. Which is a good thing because that one's pinched down pretty good. I think we might have gotten a couple chances at him to be honest with you. So we're we're getting after him. That's uh that's four fish and you know they're all they're all in the double digit ranges, so that's that's a good thing. Alright, let's get this guy back. There's another one. He was sitting right by that log jam. It was almost instantly as soon as that hit the water. It's a nicer fish. Prettier fish, I should say. Maybe not nicer, but we'll take anything. That's already out. Looks like hitting structure and Stripping it away has been the, the key to success. We're still hunting for a bigger one though, so we'll see what happens. There he goes. Back to his hole, but sitting right where you want him to be. That's gonna wrap it up for Tight Lining Maryland. It was a successful day on the stream, chucking streamers. I mean, these are days where sometimes you get no fish, so. Um, I don't know if my day is officially over, but I'm gonna wrap up the video here just to be safe. If I end up with more than four fish, I was lucky enough to fish on the way back to the car. But otherwise, um, very pleased with the you know four fish that I got. 
Uh, some of the strikes that I got looked to be pretty good. So I wish I'd have gotten into a couple of those larger fish, but you know, I'll take a 12, 13, 14 inch fish um, and, and just put something in the basket. It's just good to be out and good to be fishing. So thank you as always for the support. I hope you enjoy the video and tight lines the next time you hit the stream.